coming across then and looking, whoops, excuse me, at the NDX or NQ. Um, let's take this up to a daily time frame initially. Um, same count as we have in the um, cash market. So a one, two, one, A, B, C, and we've hit the 50% retrace, okay? So slightly more room to come down a little further in the NQ and then up. Um, but if we um, take a retrace here and then start to tank, it's more likely we're in that um, uh, diagonal count. The confusion with the NQ is that they can both look the same on the next leg up. It's a question of whether we can take out this 1.0 extension here at 81.15 in the NQ and push straight up to the 123.6 or higher. Uh, if we hit the 1.0 and start to come off, because we, we haven't come as high Fibonacci level wise in this. So this can best this would be is the A of three, B of three, which can still come lower. And then we get the C of three up in the diagonal in the NQ. So tricky here. Um, but I would think over the next week or so, we're going to know exactly which camp we're in and probably sooner than that, I would think. Now, the Dow Jones. Um, I'm just going to stick with the four hour chart. I've got the three of three here at the 123.6, but then we've pushed up and that looks like another five wave move to the 138.2. So all of this can be the four with the three here. We need some more price action, but I'm looking for this to hold. We've hit the 764 back at 26.335. I'm looking for this to be a one, two of the next leg up in the Dow. At the moment, we've still got this picture perfect pattern in the uh, Dow Jones. Um, doesn't mean it can't um, turn tail on us and go south and ruin it, but I'm looking for it not to do that. And looking at some of the major stocks and the XLI and what have you, it looks promising at this point for us to continue in the impulse in the Dow Jones Industrial. So again, keeping a close eye on everything over the next few days to see what we get.